Today's lesson objectives are 3.2a and 3.2b. 3.2a states to compose and decompose numbers up to 100,000 as a sum of so many ten thousands, so many thousands, so many hundreds, so many tens, and so many ones using objects, pictorial models, and numbers, including expanded notation as appropriate. 3.2b states to describe the mathematical relationships found in the base 10 place value system through the hundred thousands place. To begin with, let's get an understanding of the different place values, beginning with the smallest, the ones place. Here you can see that for the ones place, you can start with a count of 1 through 9, and then as you reach 10, you're going to carry over to the tens place meaning that the tens place has a value that is 10 times greater than that of the ones place. So for example, if I place a 2 here versus a 2 here, this is just simply two ones. But by placing the 2 here, this is 20 ones because it is 10 times greater than the ones place. The same can be said for each of the place values after. 100 is 10 times greater than the tens place. So it takes 10 tens to make one single hundred. Same for 1,000s, 10,000s, and 100,000s. Thousands. Each one is going to be 10 times greater. Um, we often use a place value chart to help us identify the value of our numbers. And so a place value chart is broken up into two separate periods. We have the units period and the thousands period in our example here. In the units period, you have the ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. In the thousands period, we have the 1,000s place, 10,000s place, and 100,000s place. We often use manipulatives to help with understanding of place value. One of the most common manipulatives we use is the base 10 blocks. In the base 10 blocks, you have four different forms of blocks. You have the units block, which is a single unit, representing the ones. A long, which is 10 units put together, representing the tens. A flat, which is 10 longs put together, representing the hundreds, because there's 100 unit blocks that make up a flat. And finally, the cube, which is basically 10 flats put together, making up 1,000 of these little unit cubes, so it represents the thousands. This is very common and simple to use if you're dealing with numbers that are 9,999 or smaller. Once we exceed that value, then we have to change our system of using our blocks to the second system you see down here. The first part in the unit period did not change. You still have unit blocks, longs for tens, and flats for hundreds. Over here in the thousands period though, so that we can get values greater than 9,000, we replaced the cube with a single unit block to represent 1,000. Now please realize this unit cube is different from this one over here in the units period. This unit cube is holding the place value of 1,000. So if we have 10 of those unit cubes, that would represent a long, which is 10,000. And then if we place 10 of those together, we get a flat, which is 100,000. Okay, so it's 100 of these 1,000 unit cubes. Now, when we don't have the manipulatives handy, we need to be able to draw a pictorial representation of our base 10 blocks. We often use these symbols to represent those blocks. A dot is a unit cube a straight line for a long, a single square to represent a flat, and a single square with a second square outline behind it to represent cubes. Now, if that's hard to remember, you can also just simply write an H in the flats that represent hundreds, and write a T in the squares that represent a thousand, and that would tell us that that's actually really a cube and not a flat. Okay, if you can't remember to draw the second line behind it. The system looks similar if you change it over to numbers that are greater than 9,999. Um, we simply replace the cube with another dot to represent 1,000, and a long to represent 10,000, a flat for 100,000. Another manipulative that we c that's commonly used to represent place value is place value disk. They're usually colored disk, each color representing a different place value as you can see in the illustration up above. But again, sometimes we don't have these color discs handy, so we have to draw a pictorial representation to represent those. It's simply done by drawing a circle 
and writing the number that, of the place value inside. So 1 for 1s, 10 for 10s, 100 for 100s, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. Okay? One last way to represent place value is using an open number line. Now the key to drawing an accurate open number line is that for each place value that is smaller, there should be a smaller distance between the intervals to show that it has a smaller value. So for example, you'll notice that the largest interval from here to here, 0 to 10,000, is also the largest spacing on this number line. When we only do 1,000, it gets smaller. If we only do 100, it gets even smaller. 10 is even smaller. 1 is even smaller. Okay, one's being the smallest. So let's look at a few examples together. In this one it says, how could 3,672 be decomposed as into its different place values? And so we look at each digit, the threes and the thousands place. So since it's less than 9,999, we can use our cubes. So we use three cubes to represent 3,000. Then six is in the hundreds place, so we use six flats for the hundreds. 7 is in the tens place, so 7 longs to represent our 7 tens, and 2 in the ones place, so 2 unit cubes to represent that. Um, in this pictorial representation of that same number, 3,672, 3, you'll notice that they don't quite look the same as the one above it. This is just showing you that sometimes um, we can draw it differently, but still give the same value. If you notice in the ones place, there's actually 12 of these dots. Well, we know that any time you have 10 of these dots, they can be moved over to here and represented by a long. Same thing here. If I have 10 of these longs, those could be moved over here be represented by another flat. So that leaves two of these dots in the ones place, at least seven of these longs in the tens place, and you now have six of these flats in the hundreds place. So you can now see the number 3,672. Okay? All right, this next one um, says, what number is being represented by the base 10 blocks? So here they're giving you the, pictor or the blocks, and you gotta figure out the number. So again, just looking at how many you have in each place value will help you to determine that. So this will be 1,000. You count your hundreds here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 hundreds. Well, you know you can only have t up to 10 in this spot. So the, you're going to move 10 of those over. So maybe move these 10 right here over to here. And draw your, you'd have another cube. Okay, and so now you've got 2,520, and then if you look here, it has the same thing happens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's 10 here for a total of 19. So we're going to take 10 of those and move them over to give us another long. Okay, and so that gives us now 30 here and 9 ones. So the number here would be 2,539. Okay, down here you got a pictorial representation of the problem, 2,539, using the uh, pictorial symbols. All right, one last example of these. Here it says, how could 52,546 be decomposed? So again, look at your number. This time it's greater than 9,999, so we are going to have to switch how we represent our base 10 blocks. We're going to be using the single unit cubes in the thousands place to represent the thousands and the flats here in the ten thousands place to make the ten thousands. So we need five of these flats for fifty thousand, two of these unit cubes for two thousand, and then in the units period it looks the way it was before. So you got five hundred forty six. Okay? You can do the same thing the pictorial model. Again you're seeing examples here where um, you have more than ten in here, so you can take those ten and simply move them over here and add another one of these to the side. Um, you can see the same thing in the tens and the ones. You can take ten away, move them over to the next column, and create another one in that column. Okay? All right. We're going to actually go past this one. Let's go to this example. Here you can see it being done using our place value disk. 
same questions that we saw before, just doing it with the place value disk. So here we want to make 43,625. So the 4 means we need 40, 000, or 4 of the 10,000s. The 3 tells us we need 3 of the 1,000s. 6 tells us 6 of the 100 disk. 2, 2 of the 10s disk. And 5, 5 of the 1s disk. Now the pictorial model is not much different, but again, this is just another representation of that number. But notice that in some of these columns, there are more than 10 of those disks in that column. So if you have that, you can move it over to the next column over and create another one inside of there. And that will help you see how these have the same value. So you can do the same thing with the thousands place and move it over to this ten thousands place. All right, let's go to the open number line. Here, with an open number line, you want to create the value 1,243. There's a couple different ways you could draw it on the open number line. If we start with the first digit, the 1, that's representing 1,000. That's my biggest place value, so it would be the biggest distance between markings. 0 to 1,000 would be our largest distance. Then we have two hundreds, so we'd use a smaller distance to represent hundreds, and we would use two of them. Here's 100, 200. Then our four tens would even be smaller than our hundreds. So notice we have smaller humps here. And we have four of them to represent our four tens. Finally, the three ones would be our smallest intervals. And we would need three of those. A second way you could have done this problem is we could have said, well, this 1,000 is really like having ten hundreds. And I already have two more hundreds here. So ten hundreds plus two more hundreds makes a total of twelve hundreds. So I could have drawn it using twelve one hundred size humps. Okay, and then done the, the rest of it the way we did before. Four tens for the 40, and three ones for the three in the ones place. Okay, so just a slightly different way to look at the same value. Now, you may be asked to read the number line. So if you're given a number line, you're asked to read it. Again, just look at the place value. You have one 10,000 hump. You have two 1,000 humps. So 10,000, 2,000. And then you have one, two, three, four of the 100 humps and then one, two, three, the ten humps. You have no ones humps, so you wouldn't have any value in the ones place, it'd just be a zero. Okay? All right, now, this last part we're gonna look at is looking at the numeric form versus the verbal form, or word form, I should say. So the numeric form, this is what we've been looking at. This is just the numeric form of the number, 71, and notice the 71 is in the thousands period, so that's pronounced 71 thousands. And then the units period contains 145, so the 1 is in the hundreds place. So we say 100, and then the 45 we put together. So this number is pronounced 71,145. Here's the second example. This one would be 70,000. There's no hundreds, so you wouldn't say the hundreds place. You would just say 52, so 70,052. Okay? In word form, it would look like this. You would write out the number 71 in words, so 71. Then you would write down the period, so the period is thousands. Okay, so 71,000. And then again, the 1 is in the hundreds place, so we say 100. And then we put the 45. Same thing on this other one. You have 70,000. And then we don't have a hundreds place, so we just write 52 in the units period. Okay, finally, uh, this is a chart showing you all the different possible forms. So we've looked at standard form. We've just looked at word form. All right, these others, the verbal description is just saying each place value out loud. And then the expanded form is where you're going to write out each of the place values, okay, showing their, their total values. So the threes and the... 10,000's place, so you put 30,000. Five's in the 1,000's place, so you put 5,000. Nine's in the 100's place, so you put 900. Seven's in the 10's place, so you put 70. And six is in the 1's place, so you put six. That's expanded form. Now, expanded notation is where you put the digit itself times the place value. So three times 10,000. Five times 1,000. Nine times 100. Seven times 10. And six times one. So you multiply the digit times the place value. The second chart showing you the same exact number, just rearranging the place values uh, and the order of the numbers. I want to thank you. This concludes this presentation.